a reason why God put us on under curses. What's tomorrow? What's tomorrow here in America? It's, it, come on, it's the reason why most of y'all off work. <laughs> it's Christmas. You celebrate it? What about you, sis? You celebrate Christmas? Now read that again. God said he's going to do what? But if it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now go to Jeremiah 10. Look at one of these things that we did not do, that God said, I will curse you, especially Haitians, because that's a, why, the reason why a lot of you all are in America right now is because Haiti is poor. You don't want to go back to Haiti. Us here in America, black Americans, we face all kind of, of oppression where we get racially profiled, or, and the police, we in jail, we in the worst neighborhoods, trash all over our, our places. Look what God said, to, told us not to do, and if you do, I'm going to curse you for it. Jeremiah 10, read it. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, and verse 1. You want to go to verse 3. Hear the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. You are the house of Israel. You are Levi, according to the Bible, because IET just means mountainous land. That's what it means. You're not a mountain. You're people. What's your race? Where, where are you from? Black American? That's a color in a crayon box. It's not who we are as a people. We are the house of Israel, the tribe of Levi and the tribe of Judah. That's Read. Right. Thus says the Lord. God is talking to us in his book. He's speaking to you in words. Read. Learn not the way of the heathen. Christmas is the way of the heathen, the white man. You know how we know that? Because before the French showed up in Haiti, Haitians wasn't celebrating Christmas. Right. right. Before you came to America, you wouldn't celebrate Christmas and say you do it for the kids. We weren't doing that until they taught us that in slavery here in America. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, uh -huh. for the heathen are dismayed at them. Now listen to this. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. Now he's going to explain the custom that he said, I will curse you for keeping. Read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Where do they get Christmas trees from? Where do they get them from? The real ones. The ones that the white people can't afford to put in their house. In their middle class house. Where do they get them from? The forest. We buy them at Walmart because we poor. They, they plastic. They don't catch on fire. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. How do they cut those trees down in the forest? With a what? With an axe, read. They deck it with silver and with gold. And what do they do with those trees when they cut it out of the forest and you put it in your house, whether it's plastic or real? What do we do with it? What? We decorate it. You got a Christmas tree in your house? What did you do with it? Is it plain green? What is it? It's decorated, read. They fashion it with nails and with hammers. Read. That it moves not. Read it. They are upright as the palm tree. Now, is your Christmas tree that's in your house, is it crooked? Is it, is it crooked or is it straight up and down like a palm tree? Is it straight up and down like a palm tree? It's straight up and down, right? Now jump back up to verse 1. Verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen. Are we supposed to have a tree in our house that is decorated with silver and gold and be celebrating Christmas because we got kids? Are we supposed to be doing that? What did God just say? Learn what? Learn not the way of the heathen. Are we supposed to have a Christmas tree in our house and celebrate Christmas? Bring it out. Huh? No, not because I said it, not because I'm calling you out and making you uh, 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 realize what you're doing is wrong. It's because God said, read it again, that's who? That saith the Lord. God said it. The one that put breath in your body said, don't put a tree in your house and decorate it with silver and gold. And I don't give a damn if you got kids because God said don't do it. And who, who gave you your kids, sis? Who gave you your kids? God! 
So there right. were, he can, he can tell you what to do with your kids because they was his before they was yours. Right, right. He right. just exactly. gave them to you to take care of while you're down here. But you're supposed to do what he wants you to do with your kids. And he told you to do what? Verse 4. Listen, sis. Listen to this, what we're going over. Verse 4. Read it again. Verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. For the customs of the people are vain. Of the earth, For one cut a tree out of the forest. They do what? Cut us a tree out of the forest. They cut trees out of the forest and they put it in your places right here and they give you sales and they let you off work. And what do we do? We go and buy presents, we go and buy gifts, and God said, Don't do it because you are the children of Israel. You belong to the tribe of Levi, if you're so called a mountainous land, IET. If you are so called American, which is white folk, black is just a color, but there's no country called American black. Bring it up, right. And you can't be African American because there's no country called Africa America. Right. What are you, sis? What's your race? Haitian, you're not a mountainous land either. You're not A.E.T. You're the children of Israel. And God said, even in the land of your slavery, you are not supposed to learn what? Learn not the way of the heathen. You're not supposed to be doing what the white people that enslaved us did. Right. You're not supposed to be keeping Christmas. You're not. But you know why we do that? Because you don't know who you are. Therefore, you have taken on the ways of your oppressor and you live like them. You're really, you're really just chocolate covered white people. Bring it out. You know how we know that? Here's the proof of it. Watch this. Uh, you might know because they might not know. They so, you might know because you're a little younger. What is that, that made up holiday that black people keep in America? That's supposed to be for us. It's not with a K. Choir. Kwanzaa! Now here's the truth. Now that was made for black people, right? Do black people celebrate Kwanzaa or white man Christmas? Bring it out. We are white people covered in chocolate covered bodies. You don't do nothing that you claim is yours. You celebrate everything the white man tells you to. And God said what? Learn not the way of the heathen. I said don't learn it. But we have learned Christmas and you and now what we have done? You mix God and Christ in it and say, this is Jesus' birthday. Uh. What the hell have you ever read in your life? In a, his in a history book. What have you ever read and said Jesus was born on December 25th? Bring it out. What have you ever read in the Bible that Jesus celebrated his own birthday? You've never read it before. You have learned the ways of the heathen. Give me Deuteronomy 7. And give me that where it says, What happens when we bring Christmas trees into our house? Watch this. And, and you're going to be able to see, because the environment we live in is going to show you what God said he was going to do. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 26. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house. You bring an abomination into your house. Read. Lest thou be a cursed thing. Like, oh, you gonna be what? A cursed thing like it. Now you tell me, are black folk here down in Miami living in blessings or curses? Take a look around. <laughs> curses. You know why? Because you brought what into your house? Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house. I said that that Christmas tree is a what? What did he say? It's an abomination, and if you bring it into your house, because you learned the ways of your oppressor, the white folk that enslaved you hundreds of years ago, read, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. That's why you got abandoned buildings around in Miami. That's why it's amazing. That's why like, when you ride up and down the streets of Miami, you don't see white folks standing at the bus stop. Who do you see? Blacks and Hispanics. That's right. When you go through the neighborhoods around here, what do you see? Abandoned fields. They even cut the grass. Trash everywhere. They have a uh, uh, low budget super goodwill store. Diddy's discounts. This is that's the rainbow. This is stuff for poor people. Because God said, I'm going to curse you because you learn the way of the heathen. Read on. 
but also detest it. You're supposed to do what? Utterly detest it. You're supposed to detest Christmas. You're supposed to hate it. But do we hate Christmas as a people? No. No, we love it. We love it. That's why the stores is packed. That's why stuff is sold out. You love it. You can't wait to go to the store and give your oppressor all the money that you work overtime for. Right. You give it to him. Now, if you give it to him and you can't even make ends meet as high as rent is around here, we broke as hell trying to keep up with the ways of the heathen. And do things that they made us do way back in slavery. We just keep going on with it. Keep reading. And thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. It's a what? A cursed thing. The Christmas tree that you love is a what? A cursed thing. God said it's a cursed thing. Therefore, you've become a curse. Therefore, we are living on the bottom because we are trying to... Um, we are trying to mask our oppression and depression and with gifts and drinks and holiday cheer. Right, right. And you niggas are oppressed. Hispanics are oppressed as hell. That's why they hundreds of thousands of Hispanics are crossing the border. For what? They are oppressed as hell. And they get here in America and the white man is giving us freedom to sin against God. And therefore we take hold of it and try to mask it with gifts. But that ain't what we're supposed to be doing. We're not supposed to learn the way of the heathen. Go back to Jeremiah chapter 10. Because I don't want you to forget the thought. Because you have saying Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Well, let's read out the Bible where God said don't celebrate it. He, uh, uh, Jeremiah 10 verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Y'all so-called Haitians. God calls you Levi from the house of Israel. So-called black Americans, you're Judah. How about you? Where are you from? Dominican, I'm from What's your father? What's your race of your father? Dominican. Okay, now look at this. If you know anything about history, Dominican means dogs of the Lord. Right. Christopher Columbus and the conquistadors said you were dogs. And you would do anything that they told you to do. And they named you Dominicans. Because that's not in the Bible. God calls you Simeon from the house of Israel. Keep reading. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. You shouldn't learn the way of the conquistadors. You shouldn't learn the way of the British or the French. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. Now listen to the custom. A custom is something that you do every single year. Read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. They do what? Listen to this. Read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Uh -huh. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They cut the tree with an axe. Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. What custom is that describing? Christmas. What the thing is, is what we do in it. In today's time, in 2022, is that we look for modern words from ancient times. God didn't call his damn thing Christmas because his son's birthday ain't December 25th. Right, right, yeah. He said that it's the day after you cut the tree out the forest. God is very plain and direct in what he do. It's not Christmas. You go into a forest, you cut it out the, you cut it out the forest with an axe, and then you deck it with silver and gold. Don't do it. I don't give a what kind of damn name you, you call it. I don't care what you think in your head. No, don't do it. It's not Christmas. It's an abomination in the eyes of God. Now give me that in Luke. Give me that in the book of uh, Luke chapter 2. And I want you to read verse 44. Now watch this. Because a lot of people be asking, well, when was Christ born? If he wasn't born in the dead of the damn winter, when was he born then? Let's read it. Luke 2, I think it's 44. Read it. Luke chapter 2 and verse 40, 41. Yep. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. At the feast of what? Of the Passover. Who knows what Passover is? Watch this. I will show you another way that you've learned the ways of the heathen. Say spring break. Here's how you know you've learned the ways of the heathen. What is Easter? What is Easter? Come on down, don't play dumb. What is Easter? <laughs> Explain it to me. What is it? Who 
go to church out here. Come on. Okay, what is Easter? Las Pascuas in Spanish. Yeah, Las Pascuas. I know that. What is, what is it, though? What is it? What do you go to church for to call it Easter? Why? The what? It's the resurrection of Jesus Christ. What is Passover? You've learned the way of the heathens. You have no idea what Jesus Christ did. Jesus did what? Verse 41. Look what Jesus did. Verse 41. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. So what custom of the feast was Christ keeping? Was Christ keeping the way of the heathen or was he keeping the custom of Passover? Bring it out. The what? Christ wasn't celebrating white right, man holidays. And you know how and you know how you don't have an excuse? Who was ruling during the time of Jesus the Christ? Who ruled the earth? What people? The Romans! What color are the Romans? What color are they? What color are they? They what? Jesus was celebrating white holidays! And he had white people ruling over him. Just like Haitians got white people ruling over them in America. Just like black people got uh, white people ruling them over in America. Jesus, I ain't keeping no damn Christmas. I celebrate Passover because that is the ways that God gave to the children of Israel. We don't learn that. We're not supposed to do what they do. Because when you do what they do, it destroys you. That's right. That's why we broke as a people. That's why you can never get a butt. You can never get ahead. You're always struggling all year round. You're playing catch up for the next month or two because you done spent all your damn money from October, November, and December to get some presents for one day where you got your kids worshiping the devil. Bring it right. First Samuel chapter two. And this is the thing: if you got kids and you celebrate Christmas and not do what Christ said. That's why your kids are dying at a young age. That's why they grow up confused. That's why they grow up strung out on drugs. And you've done all you could as a parent. And you wonder why, why did they turn out this way? I didn't raise you like that. Because God been cursed them because you've been doing cursed things their whole life. Look what God said. First seven chapter 2. Now get to the point of what if you got kids. Uh, verse 22. 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 22. If you celebrate Christmas for the kids, look what God say. Read that. Now Eli was very old and heard all that his sons did unto all Israel and how they lay with the women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So this is Eli that got sons, right? And he did not correct his sons and tell them what they was doing was wrong. Now jump down to the point, I think it's verse 20... 9, I think. 25, 29, let's see. Verse 29. Wherefore kick ye at my sacrifice and at mine offering, which I have commanded in my habitation. Now listen to this. He's, God is uh, answering... Eli for not correcting his children in sin. Read. And honor us thy sons above me. They did what? Honor us thy sons above me. Now you know how this plays out in our life today that we honor our children above God? As adults, we know ain't no damn Santa Claus, don't we? Okay, listen to this. We are going into how people justify celebrating Christmas because they got kids. They do what? Read it again. And honorest thy sons above me. Now this is how we do it today. Because this is ancient times. How we honor our kids. We as adults know ain't no damn fat white man going across the world uh, named Santa Claus dropping presents up under a tree, right? right? We as adults know that Christmas is a made up ass holiday that it ain't real. It's nowhere in the Bible. We, we do it. We say we do it because of kids, right? Read that again. And honor us thy sons above me, to make yourselves fat with the chiefest of all the offerings of Israel, my people. So we honor our kids above God, but we as adults know that it's wrong. So we say we do it for the kids. Well, you know, God said, no, do it well for the kids. You are honoring your kids above God. Jump down to verse uh, 31. Yep, 31. Now look what God does when you honor your children above him when you know right from wrong but you tell your kids lies look what God do. verse 31 
behold, the days come that I will cut off thine arm, meaning your strength, your head, and the arm of thy father's house, that there shall not be an old man in thine house. Thou shalt see an enemy in my habitation, in all the wealth which God shall give Israel. And there shall not be an old man in thine house. It shall not what? Be an old man in thine house. It shall not be an old man in thine house. What did you not see in the black community? Bring it out. What do you not see? Do you see a bunch of old men walking around here full of gray hair giving wisdom to the young man? No. They dying before they even get to be old. Whether it be from police brutality, whether it be from gang violence, or whether God said, I'm going to kill you with a heart and that's going to be eating down your whole life. Which I told you not to eat. I'm going to kill you off before you even get to be an old man. Read that part again. There and there shall not be an old man in thine house. There forever. shall not be an old man in thine house for how long? Forever. Forever. I'm going to kill off your men before they even get to be old. That's why you don't see a bunch of black men walking around the neighborhood. All his, you see more Hispanic, but you don't see a bunch of black men walking around the neighborhood with gray hairs giving wisdom to the young man because we've been honoring our children above God for so long. God said, I'm going to kill them off. You ain't going to never have an old man. If you live to be old, you blessed by God. He he's, he's doing that so you can have the chance to repent and hear the truth of God. Right. Here, here's some more of it. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Because what I'm going over, Christmas is not in the Bible. Right. God hates it and said, don't do it because it is the way of the heathen. The heathen mean white folks. That's where Haitians, black folk learn Christmas is slavery. Because when we was in Africa, when we was in Africa, even on the West Coast, because we originally from Israel, right. even when we was on the West Coast of Africa, there's no historical mention of black people celebrating December 25th as a whole in Africa. Right. You ever heard of it? You, ever, you ain't never heard of it, right? You never heard of it. So where did you get it from? You got it from your slave masters in slavery, and now you justify it. The people that hated you and sold you as gifts and gave you away as gifts when you was in slavery. Bring it out. Take all your damn money right now right. and keep you in the damn and don't put none of that money that they get back into the community. That's why you got these damn abandoned houses, uncut grass, trash everywhere, holes on the corner, bombs everywhere. They don't put none of that money that you give them back into the place where you live and you can't wait. To celebrate Christmas. Bring it out. Read that Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hold on, read it again. Give him a flyer. He need a flyer. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. See what God said? He thought this is the thing we gotta understand too. God is not worried about everybody else on the face of the earth. That's why when you go uh, further east in Miami on the beach, who, right. what type of people do you see that's close, that live close to the beach? Is it us? It's them, right? right? Are they living good over there? They living damn good over there. Ain't no trash on the ground. Ain't no abandoned buildings over there. And they celebrate Christmas just like you, oh, right? But God out. said what? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you are God's people. You from the tribe of Judah. She's from the tribe of Levi because A.E.T. just means a mountainous land. What about y'all? What race are y'all? African-American, Haitian, Jamaicans, Puerto Rican. Okay, what about you? Haitian? So, as I was telling her earlier, A.E.T. It just means mountainous land and you're not a mountain. So, you're not what the French called you. Puerto Rican just means, uh, where is it at? Ephraim, right here. Puerto, it means Port Rico Rich. Rich Port. That's what the conquistadors called the natives when they landed there in 1492. Hey, damn, it's rich as hell, right? Call the people rich ports. And we've been calling ourselves that and celebrating the things that they do. But God said, my people, you're destroyed for what? For lack of knowledge. You don't even know you're not supposed to be celebrating Christmas because you've learned the ways of the white man for so long and you just trying to make ends meet. You ain't even thought about what God wants you to do. You ain't even thought about why in the hell is that, do we live like this? Why are we struggling like this? 
you destroyed just trying to make ends meet as a people. Now look what God says he's going to do though because you destroyed for lack of knowledge. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Now the knowledge that we reject as people is when they hear us speak out of the Bible, they say you're a hate group. Y'all talking about Christmas, that's Jesus' birthday. Y'all hate what? Y'all hate white people. Y'all hate everybody. No, we don't. We just teach you, thus saith the Lord. Don't reject the knowledge of God because it's the truth that you never wanted to face. You wanted to live in a in a la la land thinking everything was good around you. No, I ain't oppressed. I ain't, ain't no racism around here. Well, nigga, look where you live at. <laughs> Just look where you live. Look at the jobs you got. Just look at that. Just be real with yourself in reality. We don't. I will also reject thee. God said, I'm going to reject you because you do what they do. I will reject you. If you do what the heathen do, God said, I don't want nothing to do with you. Because it's an abomination to me. I can't, God can't dwell amongst us or in us when we live like the people that oppressed us that he don't even like. Read. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. We did what? Forgotten the law of thy God. That's why we went into slavery. That's why we live in the hoods that we live in. That's why we got low paying jobs. That's why we racially profiled. That's why the prison system is full of us. We have forgotten the law of God. Well, we don't even know how to deal with each other as brothers. We don't know how to deal with our women. We mistreat them. We mistreat each other. We we don't even uh, consider Hispanic people as our, as our brothers. And they went through the same thing that we went through. Oppressed just like we are. That's why they are trying to get up out of them Venezuela. That's why they try to get up out of Honduras and cross the border to come here. Because thing ain't all good down there. Read I will also forget thy children. God said, I'm going to forget your whole thy children. But for what reason? Is God so unjust that he would say to hell with y'all and your children? Why? Read the part of why he forgot our children. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law. He forgot the law of God, so he did what? I will also forget thy children. That's why your children are dying at a young age. God said, I'm going to forget your children and let them raise they self on social media. Oh, bring it out. God said, I ain't shit. I, God said, I'm not even, this is, because we know God is all powerful. God can step in right now and be like, I'm, I'm not having it no more and change everything. Just the same way he put us in slavery and put us on ships and shipped us over here. He let that happen. It's the same way he said, I'm going to let your children die. Because you as parents have forgotten the law of God. And here's one of the laws. Back to Jeremiah chapter 10. And I want you to read verse 3. Here's one of the laws that God said, Thou shalt not. Read it. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut us a tree out of the forest. Now we're going over this again. They cut a tree out of the forest. Read. Because... What we do, we're looking for the word Christmas in the Bible, but God don't speak like we do. He got a higher level of understanding. He's very plain with it. They cut a tree out of the forest. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They use an axe to do it. Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. What custom is that that, he just, that God just described not to do? What is it? What custom? What did he tell us not to learn? Read it again, the top of it. You right. Pay Verse two. To it. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, uh -huh. and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For the traditions of the people are lies. Now tell me what tradition this is. Read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Where do you cut what time of the year do people cut trees out of the forest? Christmas. As I was saying earlier, the only difference is with us is that we too poor to get a real tree out the damn forest. You get plastic ones that don't burn from Home Depot, from Walmart. Because we too poor to have one. Hell, your damn owners of your apartment buildings might not even let you bring a real tree into the place you live in. So you, you substitute it because we're on a lower level with plastic trees. And they take it our money, but God said, don't learn the way of the heathen. And once they get the tree, they do what with it? They deck it with silver and with gold. We do that as a people. Bring it and out. God said, if you do that, 
I am going to reject you. That's how important. You might think it's nothing, but God sits in the heavens and watches our every move. He thinks he knows our thoughts. Right. And he knows that you might not have a tree, but you sure in the hell did buy some presents for somebody and gave them to him. Bring it out. You might not believe it, Christy, but you sure in the hell is going over there to the Christmas dinner to eat something. Bring it out. <laughs> God said, I'm going to reject you. Bring it out. And I'm going to make your life hard. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. 